if you've ever shown anyone how to do something at work, you've got the skill set to teach. And that's the beauty of constructing teaching, is if you know how to do the job, you can teach how to do that job. I'm Matthew Kapal. I work at Moulton College as a head of construction. I always loved playing with Lego as a kid, and it's just sort of grown from there. Playing with Lego, building things, that's always been something in my life that I've liked and enjoyed doing. I'd always had an interest in sort of DIY around the house with my dad. So I went and studied carpentry at Warwickshire College, where a lecturer there took me on as a sort of an apprentice for a couple of years before I moved on to working for myself as a self-employed carpenter. The recession was hitting in 2010, so work was hard to come by. And so therefore it was like, OK, I'll go and give teaching a go. So I started off as a technician instructor. And then after that, I went into lecturing and course managing. I don't have a degree and I didn't need a degree to get into teaching. But as I developed, the college put me through teaching qualifications whilst I was there. So I did them alongside me working at the college, but you'd still get paid for it. So therefore I did my courses either evening or throughout the working day. You're always gonna have a face, okay? Teaching gave me a stable income, so it helped me buy a house, build a family. And yeah, it's just you're doing something worthwhile. Seeing students come develop from the first year they get here, they've never picked up a saw, and then they finish the college courses and they're trained carpenters going out having a skill that they can use for the rest of their lives. So you're developing a need for the future, really. Okay, it's always a push stick, it's got a nice smooth motion. You're their course manager, you're there tutor that's going to give them one-to-one -one support or they just need someone to talk to sometimes so it's not just your teaching woodwork and that's probably why I got into teaching because the tutors took a lot of time with me and they showed an interest in me and therefore I was thinking oh these are really like, good people we want to try and emulate that in the future. I've also got dyslexia and obviously it's not a reason not to do something I've still got to where I am today. Yeah that was really good mate well done. Nice one. If you're happy at work, you're happy at home. Having a partner and you're trying to help using those skills you're at home to teach a little boy, playing with Lego and things like that, it's just nice. I never wanted to sit in an office job and this isn't an office job, this is a job where you have to be out on the shop floor speaking with the learners, you have to be engaging with them. There's lots of colleges out there looking for people. You don't have to work full time, it can be part time roles. You can work alongside it, maybe do an evening course or a couple of days a week and see if you like it, apply for the role because it is a brilliant opportunity for you and it just keeps you up to date and it keeps you more industry relevant. You are there to give people skills that they'll never forget. The reliability, the integrity, <laughs> honesty and trust, they're the sort of key skills, behaviours the students need and as a tutor you try and do that. There'll always be work out there for construction people, so you're giving something to somebody that they're always going to be able to survive off. It's something they'll always be able to use and develop. It's something they won't really be able to forget. So it's making sure that they are set for life from the courses that we offer.